What's going on, y'all? Back with another one. So, if y'all Googled Von Miller any time this year, he's been into some crazy shit these past few weeks, dog. Like, we can start at the second week of the year when apparently, you know, his ex fiance, you know, sent out all the messages that were, they were going back and forth with each other. And it's him talking, talking crazy. And you can't Photoshop shit like that. Like that, like, you can't make shit up like that. And, you know, apparently, like, it's saying, the, the main thing I was looking at is him talking about, like, yo, like, I wish you get an abortion, and I wish I never fucked with you, and bitch, fuck you, this and that. Like, wish you just go away, and fucking, I wish the baby would, you know, wish the baby would die in there or something. S something crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, I don't be understanding how, like, these millionaire athletes, bro, keep putting themselves in situations like this, bro. Like, yo, like, 2016, bro, you start, like, just a year removed from you not only winning the Super Bowl, bro, but you won Super Bowl MVP. You go when you sign a, a six-year over a hundred million dollar contract when like at that time that was the largest contract for a defensive player ever you know and then you know to create a timeline of how bad things look for Von Miller leading up to this point like I don't know if you realize this Von Miller but ever since you signed that contract the Denver Broncos ain't, ain't ain't been back to the playoffs since. I mean, you I mean you you've made the Pro Bowl every year up until 2019 when you decide to have your worst season under the contract. Like you had less than ten sacks, and had no forced fumbles, and had no fumble recoveries, and didn't even make the Pro Bowl. What wasn't an All Pro? And then you, and then you end up getting hurt all that all this season, like like you decide to get hurt and, and don't even play. And now this year, like you are entering the final year of your contract if your contract ain't already up, and then shit like this happens, and then you know come you know coming to find out. Yesterday, you know, apparently you have, you are under police investigation in Colorado. And no, no information has been put out about that yet. But I'm assuming it probably has something to do with your ex-fiance. You and your ex-fiance. And look, man, like you are in your 30s now. You know you signed the contract has a you know in your mid twenties. So I assume around that time you had to, you know, learn how to deal with people trying to ruin your career. Like like I assume that you had people around you telling you how to move when you are making this kind of money. Like it's crazy how a lot of these athletes like getting into some Bullshit that you know could ruin your money, bro. And it's up in the air whether or not they're even going to keep you in Denver, bro. Because y'all been in rebuilding mode since y'all won the Super Bowl. Y'all already had no quarterback since y'all won the Super Bowl. And then, and then you know, just years ago, y'all, you know, uh, uh, Denver drafts is a, um, uh, that DN from uh, from North Carolina State, his something Bradley. I forgot his name, but he's nice. I forget his name, but I mean, if they could find a way to get a franchise quarterback without, you know, without being so far in the cap, without you being there, that's what's gonna happen. Like. You are scheduled to make over $22 million 
this coming season if they decide to bring you back. Like, this is up to the new GM that they just signed a few weeks ago. Like, they just signed a new GM and they're handing over football operations to the new GM that they just signed. And you don't know how he's dealing with shit like this right now. You don't know how he's feeling. I didn't hear um, Denver, you know, take out any statement or whatever. But this looks bad, bro. Like, that team, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, man. Because, you know, shit like this is serious. You know, we all know... We all know what happened with uh, Antonio Brown last year. We all know what's going on with Earl Thomas, and now and now here you go. And and the difference between them is that you you are the franchise player. Like I've never heard of some shit of a franchise player, you know, being into some shit like this. To where, you know, like, so many things have happened, you know, to where you are in jeopardy of being out of Denver. And that's what it's looking like. You know, I mean, I don't know who you got to talk to. I don't know what your agent has to do. I don't know what the people around you are saying, bro. But this, you know, it's the constant reminder of... You know, money don't change who you already are, but it just changed your your zip code. Like, money don't change people, bro. Like, if you were acting like this with money, I'm pretty sure you was worse before the contract. I'm pretty sure you was worse than this. You got to get that shit together, bro, for real, man. That looks too good.